Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Phoenix Bright Ace Attorney. Today, we're gonna continue with the case <gasps> The Rise from the Ashes, and we're gonna do day two. We're gonna do the trial, and hopefully, this episode won't be as long as the last one. I think I actually cut the last episode so it became two parts. I think I did that. I still haven't edited it. So, I don't know, but uh, that episode all together, anyway, it was like one hour and 42 minutes long. So, no. And also, Ray was in that episode. That was freaking amazing. We had so much fun. But sadly, Ray isn't here today. So, today is just gonna be me talking mostly and you, of course, playing with me. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's go. From chapter. February 23, 9.34am. This record, Defendant lum Lobby number 2. <laughs> I like saying number 2. Oh wow, what was your voice again? <clears throat> How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Bright? I think that was the right voice, I think so. Frankly, there are still a lot of <clears throat> grey areas. Oh wow, I can't do this voice, that <laughs> grey does it. Oh no! Um, oh gosh, what should I do? I don't know. Oh, rather, the whole thing. No, maybe not that. Bad. Okay, we're gonna do good. <clears throat> oh, rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. <laughs> yeah, that's totally how Ray sounded like Ray did. Uh, I know. I mean, no, uh, that was Emma talking about all by himself. <clears throat> okay, I can't fool anyone. Yeah, I, I can't. I, yeah, I can't do Emma's voice like Ray did it. <laughs> Ray's going to become a you know a voice actor, so I can't. I can't be as good as Ray. <sighs> I just had to be, you know, good at what I'm doing too. Okay, stop talking. So this episode will don't turn into two hours long. <clears throat> don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. Stop! Give me that look! I believe in you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. I don't need your advice. Yeah, I guess not. A defense attorney should never believe their client. Uh, okay. <laughs> the defendant is called to the trial because they are suspect of wrongdoing. Never forget that. <clears throat> Miss Guy, you are a pooper scooper. You remind me a lot. Oh, then you can't be a pooper scooper because Mia's freaking awesome. You remind me a lot of Mia, but Mia's better. <laughs> But there is one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. <laughs> I still want to know how you hurt your hand. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Bright. No, good luck to you, Lana. <laughs> Seriously, good luck. <laughs> My first trial without Fae, uh, without the Faye helping me. But they're with us in spirit. No one's going, uh, going to bail me out this time. <gasps> Mia, I love you. I'd be alone in there. No, you got us. You got your buddies right here. So I had to discover the truth all by myself. But we're here. Don't be selfish. Let's let's do this, Mr. Right. I'll be with you the whole way. Okay, that's awesome. So now we're a bunch of people standing behind Phoenix's back. I was about to say wall. February 23, 10 a.m. This is court, courtroom number nine. Let's make. The court is now in session for the trial of this Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Ugh, and you're here too. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgy boy. Are we still gonna talk about this? Hm. I haven't been in court since Edgy Boy's trial. It's been a while now. I hope that person of Venus will not be part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. What are you talking about? I was used to pay if I think it's right, regardless of what does Remy Mazur. Usually it should be made innocent, I hate not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Chief Boy. Your opening statement, please. <laughs> I can't do your voice anymore, I'm sorry, Judge. Chief Prosecutor Lennox Guy has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office, Lord. How dare she! In my car. 
Well, no, oh wait, wrong eyes. <clears throat> well, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confession to everything. Why? <laughs> she will not pay for a ration with a lap. It sounds like you're the one, you know, very emotional here. Are you mad that someone murders a person in your car? Or, you know, murder someone before and then put the bird in your car? Yeah, poor edgy boy. Aww. You wish old bag was here, right? She really could come for you and be like, Oh, this is okay, edgy boy. Like, eh, it's okay. Thank you. It's just uh, nice to be, you know, to be noticed by someone. Eh. Aww. Poor yo, edgy boy. <clears throat> anyway. There was a witness to a crime. A professional witness. Smack. Well done. Call your first witness, Mr. The prosecution calls his first witness, Miss Angel Statues. Hmm, the cough up coin. Hello there. How you doing? Hmm, I haven't I seen you somewhere. Of course you have. Oh hello there. What the what's that oh, oh why? Oh how did you rate us and did that voice again? I don't know. Okay, I guess I guess I gotta go up with something else. Um, something on my own. You ordered a caviar lunch, right? Ho ho, caviar! I never eaten caviar before. <laughs> Already smitten. The judge is really wolfing it down. <laughs> I would like to see that animation. Ah, and for you, I have a fiesta bowl. Ooh, a party! No, thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. Will the witness name your name and profession? Ah, and you, sir, <laughs> did you order the fingerprint lunch box? Oh, snap. It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. But it could be brunch. Well, your honor, how does it taste? <laughs> now look. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. <laughs> 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 so this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. <laughs> and then, you know, Yudge pass away. Just kidding. <laughs> I always thought caviar would taste like pickled top tapioca. What is that? What the heck does ta pickled tapioca taste like? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Me, the name is Annual Star. Don't go forgetting it. <laughs> I find myself running Lunchland these days. Ooh, is that a magical country of lunches? Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgy Boy? Mary Grand Witness, please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Hurry it up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Very well, Mr. Edgy Boy. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Yeah, yeah, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeboy has said to the court, I am a professional. With lunches! Uh, huh, what exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. Oh, you were, were you? She, she was the first raid homicide detective. <laughs> what? Where? Mrs. Star was a detective? Oh, my jeez. Wah! Ha. I, I I know who you are. You make the most delicious lunches. I mean, <clears throat> cough up. Cough. Oh, cough up, Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. How could you forget me? I always made you lunches. V v v v very very well. You, you you may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this poop? If I may have the court's attention over here. Oh my. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A shame divider separates the two blocks. I suppose... Oh wait. <clears throat> I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor's spaces, yes. The crime took place by a car in the back of A block. Oopsie, I... Um, accidentally skipped that. <clears throat> I mean, I accidentally skipped. <laughs> Oops. Cough up clean. Yes, that's me. <clears throat> the killer stabbed the victim with a knife and went to the drive and went to drive the body out. But 
Hmm. I wonder if um, Lana has, uh, you know, a car, you know, her own car. Why didn't she use her own car? I wonder if she has one. I feel like she would have one. Yeah, it feels like she would have one. Or a tank. <laughs> why would she just... No, why would she use Edgy Boy's car? It's weird. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Well, we have just explained that to you. It was Angel. Oh, Judge. Are you... Are you forgetting yourself or what are we talking about because you just had a really nice lunch? You tasted caviar for the first time? It's okay, Judge. It's okay. <clears throat> Why? It was me, Your Honor. Floor plans added to the court record. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? No. I think you're lying. Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Bright. Ah, uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Excuse me, I thought you liked defendant, you know, defense officer, er, officers, <laughs> what? <laughs> defense attorneys, come on. We don't like prosecutors, come on. Come on, I'm angel, come on. Well, I like prosecutors, but, you know, not in this dimension. <laughs> uh, we have talked about this, so I'm just gonna let it pass for now. <clears throat> Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remained? Excuse me? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, so you're a big fan to... Uh, uh, to this person. Okay, the cough-up queen? Give it, bring it on. If you can, then give them your words, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? Mm, uh, yeah. Witness account. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. Blah, blah, blah. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend, which often you broke up with one and then had a, you know, day to death, Marshall. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. Oh wow, that's the first time we see Dick's picture. Then, through a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Garish? What's that mean? Like garnish? Like food? Hmm. Oh well. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Here. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Hmm. Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. We should get back together. <laughs> that would be so funny if they, it turns out the judge and uh, the star had been dating. That would be fun. And the uh, judge would be like, start to cry, like, I miss you so much, why don't you go back to me? <laughs> While well, under this case, they would be under this trial, it would be really, really funny. <laughs> um, hmm, as you can see, there's no room for that. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into the detective. Good man. Oh, <laughs> spot on, eh? point on, <laughs> right on point. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I, um, I'm still thinking about that. It, it, it's merely a flesh wound, mister. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monty Python style. Very well, Mr. Bright. You may cross-examine the witness. Yeah. Evil stare of, I don't, I still don't like you, boy. Why? Oh, wait. No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, why? How did you know? How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic ab... 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 <clears throat> of crime. <laughs> Yet, their methods are ugly and twisted. Burn, edge boy, burn. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. Thank you. <laughs> the, the lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. <laughs> Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Burn. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. <laughs> Not gonna say anything? Mister, do you have something like personal against prosecutors? <clears throat> Sorry, that was weird. Weird voice, I mean. I mean, it's not <clears throat> That was angel. I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. 
And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. Yeah. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Hmm. Pumbaa would, you know, eat prosecutors, Dean. You know, Pumbaa from The Lion King, they eat worms. That said, I am a pro. As you know, my testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well, you may continue, Miss Star. Okie dokie. Who's your boyfriend? This boyfriend, he's the detective. Not that boyfriend. Oh, the security guard. That, that, that boyfriend, you have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? Oh, wow. <laughs> the yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. <laughs> Aww. I want to see you, you know, dating. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> oh, well. Uh -uh, I'll stick with the lunch things. No to say. No to say. The judge have to think before reply. Well, that's a good thing, you know, apparently. Everyone tells me it's a good thing before you just talk, but I don't, I can't do that. I don't think before I talk. I just do. Okay. <clears throat> Secured guard room is in the lot in A block. Yeah, they want, they want to look like a cafe. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes back, huh? Since I am a visitor now, I parked in B block. So, she was in B block when she witnessed the crap. Yep. Hmm, now we're gonna press on everything, just like always. You sensed something? So you're saying you had a pre premonition of the murder? It felt like, how would you say? Oh yes, it was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin shark full of seeds. Hmm, I don't know how that feels. Aye, you too then, Judge. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's instincts, wasn't the victim Mr. Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese, huh? A uh, young cheese? Something you eat because it's delicious? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Yeah. Okay. I like cheese. Hmm. I, of course, am hard, yellow, sharp as tack. We don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I love you. <clears throat> I bet you sting too. I'll sing! <laughs> I love you so much. In any case, there, in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Okay. Garish? By Garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgy Boy's car, yes. <laughs> m m Mr. Edgy Boy's. Incidentally, the knife uh, with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgy Boy's. <laughs> Wasn't it? In Indeed it was. Hmm. Oh no, smash. Oh my. Uh, oh, slapper, slapper. No, nothing? Okay. <clears throat> hmm, what an odd case this is. Yes, it is. And the person you saw, you sh you are sure it was the defendant? I saw it from no further than 30, uh, 30 feet away. Yeah. I am certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Oh, you were whispering, okay. <clears throat> Let's just do what we can, even if we don't have any proof. We can always complain. Yeah, because that will work. Wait, <laughs> witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequence and consequences of doubting me, I am the coffee queen. <laughs> I fry you like a fairy crisp on the outside. She would inside. Oh wow! Look at that! Look, that's scary. That was inspiring. I believe I heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism. <laughs> okay. I may be relegated to the lo 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 lowly post of a lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Honed? That doesn't prove anything. Uh, a photograph? You took this? 
the moment I witnessed the crime, my ear reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes rigged with a camera. Oh my god, I just swallowed a camera when I ate it. Wait, I ate that. Oh my gosh. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. A lunchbox? Oh wait, the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you hang around a camera. You know, a lunch a lunchbox around your neck. I'm really like, that would be real difficult to eat if you hang around your neck. Oh well. Uh, uh, this is my first time seeing this photograph. Oh, you, I, you're mad now. You think I show it to you, a prosecutor? <laughs> think again. <gasps> my boyfriend works in the photography division of Criminal Affairs. Well, this is most certainly a d d d defendant. Well, you can't really prove that this was the same day. I don't really remember that that, that angle when we looked at car. Crime photo added to the court record. Wow, that voice I always do when something like technical la la sounds a lot like Angel. <laughs> oh my. Uh oh, that is unmistakably Lana Sky. So what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Huh. Yeah, I guess that could work. Tell me more about this knife that the subject with with cave. Well, I say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Is that right, Mr. Edgy Boy? <laughs> it is your knife after all. Uh, um, um, <clears throat> yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well worse in the location of a man's vital organs. Huh? I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. What? Y y you can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg, I mean a person. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better me a metaphor. <laughs> oh my. So the defendant was holding a knife, what then? Then she thrust the pointed tip of the knife into the detective Goodman's chest. Wait, 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 we're gonna check the. Check. Bruce, uh, the in time of death. Okay, yeah, chest wound, that was right. Wound was caused by a 12 centimeter knife. A single stab wound was found. Okay, so it was 12 centimeters, they lied. It was not 10 centimeters, it was 12. Yeah, we got you now. <laughs> Uh, okay. Press! Tell the court why, I did, why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise a knife to strike, no? Hmm, the defense has a point. Haha, <laughs> point. <laughs> Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. But you took a freaking photo of it. Too late? You took a freaking photo of it. Yes, the next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. But you did take a photo after the, you know, she put the, you know, the body in the freaking trunk of the car. What the poop? I, I see. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like you. You like Monty Python? Yeah. <laughs> it's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? S scientifically speaking, Miss Star's testimony is flawless. <laughs> Sounds pretty fatal to me. Fatality. What, what, what do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. <laughs> what? Don't smile like that. Okay. Wait. But I pressed everything now. We can't... We, I, I pressed everything. Hmm... <laughs> I'm just checking all the evidence so we know what to do and go with. The moment of the crime as photographer, you start to check the details. Something here. But I mean, is there blood on her coat or is it just me that can't that have bad eyesight? I mean, she did hurt her hand, but we don't know where. Uh. Okay, I got an idea. I just can't wait. It over you. Uh, the chest. The chest. Um. I, I think we did it. 
and you witnessed this. You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with a knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Oh my. That hits the spot. <laughs> hmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. This is the photograph you took of the very moment of the crime, is it not? Did she really say that? Then why is Miss Guy not holding a knife? I thought you... I thought... Mm. <clears throat> Mr. Edgy Boy, your thoughts? Uh, what? Objection. Dot. Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? It is you that needs to be more careful, Mr. Ray. What do you mean, it's Mr. Jabor? This photograph was not taken a moment before the stabbing. This was taken a moment after the stabbing. Yeah, hey, objection. How, how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Oh, okay. So on my eyes, it wasn't that bad. I, it actually had a little blood on her coat. Huh? See the see the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat? That's from the wound on her hand. It's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Well, Mr. Brain, I see no problem here. No, uh, no problem except you. Mr. Ryan, I'm going to just sit there and take this kind, that kind of abuse, even though he's my fucking hero. Uh, you got a better idea? Object on! Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Then you're not a professional. Passing! Th that's it. <laughs> If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering double sized lunch from the get go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. <laughs> I look kind of confused, actually. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating, like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. What? That doesn't make sense. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in the photograph. <laughs> well, are those gloves? Why would she? Why would she wear those? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Cause she cut herself. Uh. If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing these gloves. And stop being so close to the camera, Chase. Why? <laughs> These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. Yes, please. The murder was planned, the rubber gloves prove it. It's, on, it's only a flesh wound, Mr. Bright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Mr. Our testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. Okay, we're gonna go do with the same ending. What what do we do? Is this a message we can prepare? Okay. I guess we go press on the last one. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves? Oh yeah. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were from gloves of the kind of use for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. No, there's other conclusions. Everything was planned, it was a premeditated crime. Wah! Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Mr. Star. <laughs> I think it's a good thing they took, it, took her off. This is bad. She's got them thinking this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over, but she can't prove it. I gotta think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's... Oh, come on. Stop saying... It's so long in this thing. Well, 
I would really like to like ah oh, look at uh, look at Lana's hand. And they're like, oh my gosh, maybe they were that for the freaking blah 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 blah. Uh, How can we prove it was meditated? Maybe this? Maybe we need to do it on that claim though. Maybe, yeah, well let's tri uh, let's pretend this. L pretend, I mean, let's present this. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, it, it didn't work. <laughs> It didn't work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It hurt. This gonna hurt. This gonna hurt. Ow, my buddy. Whoops, that didn't go so well. Nope. <sighs> but there must be something. Uh, how can we prove that? I can prove it. I can prove it right now. I don't know what to do. Hello. I can't open it. Oh man. I don't know what to do. And I gotta I gotta take a slight pause in the recording now because I gotta go do my laundry. The machine is waiting for me, so I gotta be right back. Uh this is not good. Okay, so I'm back from uh, doing my laundry. I thought the rubber gloves, the murder was planned. The murder, the murder was planned. Well, the knife. She didn't bring the knife. She found it in the boy's car. So, how did she know that the, well, the knife was was, was going to be there? I don't think anyone but Edgy Boy has a freaking knife in their car. So I'm gonna try to present this, cause. I don't know. I nothing else really is gonna work right now. Nothing. Maybe the cell phone, but nah. Cause I think, I think yeah, I think the phone call yeah five eighteen yeah that was after the murder, so it could be a good have been planned. But the knife kind of shows that you know. I don't think Lana would know why Edgy Boy had a toolbox with a freaking knife in it, so we're gonna try. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems like it's working. Witness, do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunch... I sell, I sell box lunches for a living, you know. But, um, you're also a former detective. Oh, okay, there we go. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgy Boy's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. What's, what's with this case? The bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to the prosecutor. The defendant is the city prosecutor for the issue. Mommy, a prosecutor is bad people. Wait, are the kids in here? Why are there kids in here? The def is there a kid sitting there in the jury? Wow. <laughs> This is a rough world we're living in. The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However... Why would you not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Oh yeah, we call that. <sighs> oh, snap. This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Smack. Order, order, order. Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Oh, yeah. Great job, Mr. Ryan. My sister has a good as free. Oh, no, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Tell me when it's over. Is it over? Oh, thank you. Right. 
I'm Benin and Nick Lawrence will be eating his humble pie. <laughs> I'm so pretty. I don't get it. What? What? I don't get it. I hope you weren't alone yourself and thinking that the time is done. How do you know that? Stop reading my mind. Not the only sort of traveling detail. But, but, but this shoots a hole in the whole pre made theory, actually. <laughs> the person gives a good kind of nice if he was pretty bad or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. <gasps> The defendant, not this guy, murdered to take the with a knife. I'm not gonna look alike, I don't like that look either. Okay. <clears throat> that is the only means of putting your name on happiness. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you are clever now. Wait, this is the evil boy, sorry. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him, it was planned. If she wasn't, why would she have been wearing? What? Wearing what? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. <laughs> Judge Mad. Just kidding. Miss Ness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you? <laughs> My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? <laughs> Maybe that was why you're not allowed to be in freaking police force anymore? Lana Sky intended to murder to take the good men. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. How do you know that they called? The phone was... well, okay, so far. I'm sure the chief prosecutor has a gr had a grudge against the victim. Why? Nothing else could drive that human machine to bludgeon knife in again and again. Wait, again and again? But it was only one time it happened. Excuse me. The victim... the victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? Nope. So, if, if, if I were to be said, does that mean I'm planning to kill a delivery boy? Oh, how am I? Are you a awesome murderer? In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Wow. Eva stare up. <sighs> okay, is that the only thing you... All right, the, the again and again thing. Okay, I think this is the one. One knife wound. Yeah, here we go. This needs to work. You say she stabbed him again and again, but that's bull bull. But you couldn't have witnessed that, you bull bull. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my sushi! <laughs> oh yeah, show me! <laughs> oh, not sushi, but my, with my more surprise! Whoa, that sounds nasty. Oh. I'm afraid the mouse is going under our feet as we wave a <laughs> Oh my, look at that stare. That's scary. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? I should not have to explain this, but take a look. blood. From one stamp. Ah, ah! You're right. Good show, Mr. Stenchable. What? But, but Phoenix, but we... Uh, yeah. well, well, I don't wanna say what you said right now, that's just... Uh, not the first sentence, anyway. He, he's my hero, really. <laughs> what about my objection? No one noticed I, I... We did. We did. Arrived my buddies, right? Oh, only me? Oh. Sorry, Phoenix. It was just me. Well, witness. Third. Oh, that looks scary. And not that delicious. Okay, it looks kinda delicious, but I don't wanna eat anything you do you cook at because I think you're gonna poison me. <clears throat> anyway, you got the crime scene set right. Oh, uh, oh, judge, don't eat it. <laughs> Always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. What? But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. What? What? Oh my gosh, now we really understand why you're not a cop anymore. Seriously. Ketchup and blood does, you know, doesn't look anything alike. It, nothing, like seriously. Maybe you can make blood look like ketchup uh, with, uh, if you've done some stuff in a, you know, a lab somewhere, a science lab. But no, no, you're lying through your teeth right now. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood. When she lifted... When she lifted, when she lifted, uh, she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her. 
Whoa, I'm not gonna say that. On the boobies. That's better. Splattered blood from the, her victim. But, nah, but her arm. It was blood there, right? Maybe that wasn't blood because it was a black and white picture. That's why I thought she, stabbed, she must have stabbed him at least twice. Huh. Then tell us what you saw that you thought was blood. Testify. Testify. Wait. Her muffler. What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check what that means. Wait, no, hold on. Oh, is that a scarf? Because <laughs> when I searched on Google, it showed a freaking part on a car, you know, with a gas thing, you know, the pipe on the back of the car. Apparently, that's called a muffler, and I'm like, but I don't think a red muffler. The car? I, no, that doesn't have a red pipe thing on the back. I think this means scarf, because I went out and said muffler clothing, they showed a scarf. Like, a bunch of pictures of scarves on Google. So I'm gonna go with that. But, okay, we're gonna look at the photo. That's the only picture, or only thing we can point out if she had that thing on. No, wait! No! She didn't have that thing! I wonder why she has it now, though. Oh well. Maybe fashion only. Not that she got wounded or something there. Miss Star, I demand an explanation! Oh, stop talking. H boy, shh, shh, shh. is clearly not suited for detective work. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're oh you're with us. Okay, you're along. Okay, you're not working against us now. What? Oh, you're just trying to steal our glory, Edgy Boy. Okay, that's not nice. Um, the suspect was not wearing a scarf or a muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim, and you proved it yourself with this photograph. Yeah, stop stealing our glory. Thank you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Only a true professional could be so clueless. <laughs> I'm sure you make a good lunch lady. Have no fear. Oh, burn. Sick burn. <laughs> I said it too, Judge. Mm -hmm, harsh words, but good. Burn. Sick burn, yes. Come on. We said that. Freaking edgy boy. <sighs> oh, well, edgy boy needs this. Edgy boy is having a rough time, so we can give this to edgy boy. You're welcome, Edgy Boy. Hope you hope you hope you hope you feel better by yourself soon. Good, hang in there. <laughs> what was my objection? Shop liver? Nah. Yes, let's give this one to Edgy Boy. Okay, okay. But but it was it was there a scarf? No, not that. But something red, really. Well, no, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude not back the business. What? Slap. Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. <laughs> I do remember some things accurately, at least. <laughs> Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. You make it important part. The part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony might just be the moment of truth. Hopefully. Apprehending the suspect. I don't think she ever did. After murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. That? Okay. I quick I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot, even though I'm not allowed to do that because I'm not a cop anymore. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned, mentioned the muffler. Yeah, right. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Bulbul, I'm speaking bulbul out of my mouth, cause I'm a bulbul, 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 bulbul. The ship was clearly made to escape, but against Angel Star resistance is futile. <laughs> cause I shoved down my lunchboxes down her throat. <laughs> you are quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. Yay, Barracuda! That's me, Angel Star, the cuff up queen. That wasn't a very good me metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten or cough up your life. Long no, no, thanks. No, no, to say if a turtle rat gets bitten by snake. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Help us with the snake bite, it's gonna hurt. But it's poisonous too. The angel prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside and kicked over an oil drum. 
Well, there was something kicked over all around there. Oh, oh, all around? Hard to imagine. But it was empty. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator. This one, a leopard woman. Roar. <laughs> what? Very well, Mr. Bright. You cross-examination, if you will. Hmm. Evil Sarah. Oh my gosh, I don't like Edge Boy. Okay, hmm. Which one should I be playing? Hmm, the white fence? No. What about that? I quickly call her. I arrest her. Okay. So Miss Sky tried to run. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Missy, she's sorry, she's sorry, she's sorry, she's What? Oh, sorry, I am. But she didn't do it, you have to believe me. Okay. Let's try to figure out where... We can just try to press everything, I guess. So, where is this partition on the floor plants? I'm sorry, she's sorry, she's sorry, she's sorry. That's right. There was a wall there, and an oil drum, and six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. <laughs> you would know that, right, edgy boy, right? No, just <laughs> She doesn't like prosecutors, okay? And what did you do then? I kicked, I kicked the car to explain the rice and the on the spot. When I rest her, she mentioned the muffler. Why? I think I should, we should press here because why would she mention it? It's so weird. She mentioned muffler? What exactly did she say? Oh, I forgot my muffler at home. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I would have told you in my testimony. Shicky. Anyway, all I heard say was the word muffler. Yes, I do. You said one word. So, when you heard, it wasn't the suspect talking to you, but someone else. Well, that's true, actually. And they were, there was a call on it. Yes, the sheep prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? You mean the cell phone? Ask for her. By phone, do you mean this cell phone discovered at the crime scene? You should have showed it. Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. No, no the court doesn't see, Miss Star. The sheep was scooted for his attempt to use the phone hanging on the wall. But it was broken. Uh, on the wall? That's right. Near the car. There was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. But it was broken. Well, okay, it didn't mean it was out of order. And so she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm, good witnessing witness. <laughs> Good witnessing. <laughs> Whatever happened to a good testifying? Nah, that kinda never been a thing in this game. You should of course add this to your testimony. The thing I do put to please this rookie defense attorney. Cell phone updated in the court record. She give up trying to use the phone on the wall and just use her cell phone. Well, let's press. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was going to ask the same thing. Oh, you were? Goody, goody. Only say this one time, so listen close, rookies. <laughs> the sheep also could have stabbed the victim and ran behind the petition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. Why would she even do that? So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time you climbed over the chain li link fence. Oh wait, oh. And during the time you were climbing over the chain link fence. Ow. Ow. Then when I boldly grabbed her arm, the sheep prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Rat? Should we be express here then? She made to escape. Can you be more specific? She brushed his arm and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pit of full grass. Huh? 
<laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Huh? So you've been kicked over an oil drum at me. Uh, uh, an oil drum? There was an oil drum lying on the side and on the side at the scene of the crime. Then it's strange. Hmm, what's that? If you wanted to escape, why didn't you run to the, the other way? That's true. The other ah. Oh. The car entrance, of course. Why wouldn't he run that way? Th th that's right. It doesn't make any sense that we should run from behind the partition to the old drums. Nope. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more, though. So, I'm a sky try to run. I'm, I'm sorry, my sister is so suspicious. Oh, stop talking. <laughs> You're saying the same thing over and over again. Um. Uh. Oh, okay. When I arrested her, she has a muffler. Is that war? Should we present the phone here? Um, do you think you could- no, yeah, we talked about that. Hey, <laughs> you said it twice now. Oh man, sorry, this- I gotta cut this out, it's gonna be so long this episode if we use this too. Be right back then, so you don't have to watch it. Hmm, okay, so we're back after that long scene. I thought about it, I mean, there was a wall, I didn't think about it, but it was six meter tall and Angel was on the other side, so the, she wouldn't. It could. It can't be possible for Angel to be able to see her bring out her cell phone. It, it, and how did she know it was out of order? Did she try to call it before? Uh, call it before? I mean, she could have noticed the phone when she tried to arrest uh, Lana, but it still doesn't make sense. I think we can uh, try to present the phone, or maybe, maybe the floor plan. Um, should I give up trying to use the phone wall? We're gonna, I don't, maybe not on this statement, we're gonna try. I f yeah, I think it, it must be on this, this, this statement. This is for fun. Uh, please be right, please be right, please be right. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, I should have taken the other one that was after, after. Dang it. Oh no, I will have two, I've never done this bad before. Ah, uh, gosh, where do I present it? It must be the last one. I must do it here then, I guess. But wait... Where should I? I know I'm on. I'm right about this, but which one should I put it on? Mm. Should I present it here, maybe? Wait, we're gonna find the. Um, okay, I'm gonna look for that cutscene. Because I think it was here. No, no, okay, it wasn't here. Okay. Was it here? I'm gonna find a cutscene again. I just skipped it, but. Presser? Oh wait, did we press here? I don't remember this. Oh wait, wait, here it is, here it is. The lunch la- no, wait. This is new. Okay, we didn't press and everything, I thought we did. The lunch land car was... She was a visitor- uh, She was a visitor, yes. She was parked in B-Black. So, you witnessed the murder from here? Well, that was explained before. That would make it about 30, 30, 30 feet from a car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Y y yes that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. 
I went over it, of course. Wouldn't that take a really long time to do? Ama amazing to cover Queen Lunchly Daphne, indeed. Hmm. It would have taken her a little. T it would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. Yeah, right. So she could now got into my house, assisted that fast. True, true. Yeah, the fence was about nine. Oh wow, I didn't think about that. That's really, really, really tall. I was just thinking about uh, uh, the freaking uh, what was it called uh, that with the oil drum, that wall with a lot bunch of lines on it. Uh, how come this guy didn't get away? Yeah, that's true. Should we put it here then? I don't want to lose another life. I'm gonna go for a walk through with this. Because I don't want to lose and have to redo this whole case, seriously. Oh, this is gonna suck if this is wrong. Oh, it is. It is wrong. It is wrong. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna use a walk through. Because, I mean, we know where what to do, but we don't know where. Okay, this is gonna... I'm gonna ah, I feel so... I feel so off today. Is it here you supposed to mean? Here? But I don't want to die! Okay, I'm gonna save so we don't fudge up. Okay, fudge, fudge up. There we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Another save here. Save, save, that's... You can't see what I do to save, but there we go, okay. Okay, this is gonna hurt. I think we even presented this in the last one. Last time. Oh gosh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt so much. This is gonna hurt. I feel so. I feel so gone. Please. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna load. We're gonna load. Okay. So d not this one. Um. Now. Was it right? Oh, finally we got the right one. Finally. I don't even know what statement it was that we were right on. I just, ugh. I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Long Sky. The witness is a former detective. The testimony is unmarried by personal bias. Well, how? Who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You, who together with the she prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. Uh oh. Well, Miss Star. This is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Tristra. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Mess with me and I'll make you cough it all up. Uh oh. <clears throat> Let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed a crime from this point. Yes. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Guy making that phone call. Yeah. Ooh, sick burn. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this petition. <laughs> finally, ah, finally, such relief. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. <laughs> order, order, what is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor, really, it is a real example, you know. <laughs> Rasmus didn't go do any good, good on this at all, like seriously, at all. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies! Grrr. Gonna steal the, I don't know, glory again, huh, Ejibar? This grand claim is the right, perhaps you are really allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lies is with such total court. Here's where the counter attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. We're gonna save again just to be sh safe. Because <laughs> I do not trust my judgment today. Okay. What she saw. Where she saw it. I mean, there was a phone there. The order of events. Oh gosh, this is actually difficult. What's that about? I mean, see, so there was a wall behind, but there was a phone. Ah, no! <laughs> no. Hmm. 
Okay, this might be right. I don't know. It does seem hard to imagine how she could have. Very logical. Were we right? Oh, we were right. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry that I just clicked past the beginning there, but I'm like, oh, I don't want to see it. Oh, we fail. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes. I freak out with that. Okay. <clears throat> What's the matter, star? Cat got your lunch box. <laughs> I'm hilarious. <clears throat> Um, Mr. Bat, I hate to bother you while you're celebrating your victory, but why would the star lie like that? Huh? Why would she say that my sister tried to use the phone but failed? It doesn't make any sense. Why lie about something so insignificant? Oh, dang, she's right. <laughs> I mean, maybe she's really did see her try to use the emergency phone. I see no room for that here. Oh, Melon. He ordered the patooey on the rice, right? <laughs> Mr. Ra <gasps> no! Okay. Wow, they really got me going there. No, I don't want to. No. Okay, where she saw it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I really want to be right there. Because they g went on and on, you know? She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. Was it significant about. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie. I see. The witness did actually see Miss Guy using an emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. Please don't take my last exclamation point. <laughs> this would suck. A different location? Now that's a pointless lie for everyone. Please don't take out <laughs> exclamation point. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Yeah, we're good at lying. I mean, no, we're not. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question too. Our clever words, <laughs> wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? Maybe in the order of events. All the testimony we heard until now points in one direction. The place from where Mr. Witness witnessed the crime was here. Can't you just tell us where? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna check the... I Wait, I can't check the freaking... Uh, the freaking... Um, uh, I want to check the photo, because they have to read, you know, the letter A from somewhere. Uh, okay. I mean, the letter, when, you know... When Lana was doing something with, you know, the picture that the lunch lady took. There was an A in the background, and she would face a trunk. So it could be like at the end of that large truck at the right corner down there. But no, no. She could have been in the security room, you know, where her boyfriend was at. Okay, we're gonna save. And I uh, hope we do this right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, security room, here we go. Wait, oh wait, we can take the scissor too. No, it's gonna be there. Please be right, please be right. Oh no, it was wrong. This is the only place where she could have been. Is it? Oh, maybe it is right, I hope so. The security guard room? Mm. Indeed, the security room is in the underground parking lot. It's well positioned. It's built on the second level so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from her there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. It, that did you do wrong? Yeah, okay, no, may, probably. Not in this case, your honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only, wit, only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the position is here. Oh. I remember in your testimony you said, you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yeah? Well, Miss Star, I think we'll be right. I, I, well, I think so. It feels like we're right. How many years have I been better at getting the... Have I been getting the better of men to think that the tables could be turned? Today, a man has got the better of Ingo Star. Order, order, witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective, you should know better. I'm not turning back. 
the guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. I think he is being egoistic. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Sky? Um, Mr. Rat, doesn't it strike you as odd? Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. This this is like the last time when we lost our last life. Huh? She could have said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It would have changed anything. Exactly. This photograph says, uh! This photograph says, oh, it was the defendant to stab. What? Well, it was the defendant to stab the victim. What? I don't understand. Objection, blah blah blah. It still it still stands. I disagree, Mr. Edgeboy. It feels like they're gonna take our last exclamation point again. I'm like on the edge right now. Haha, <laughs> Edgeboy, Edgeboy, you right, right, right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> if a witness is found to be lying, that's guilty of pre jury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. Are we still right? Are we Mr. Right? Are we right? I don't know. I don't want to lose our last life. I'm so, oh, so, oh, wow, it's so tense right now. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Bright. Huh? M me? Who else? Mr. Bright, let's review what we know. Security room. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. She lied and said she saw it from the B block. It must make a vital difference, but what, what would change? Hmm. Difference in lightning, no. Okay, we're gonna check the court record. Angel, because in the photo, I kinda notice it. I, yeah, this is not, this, you know, this is the, and this is the wall. It, the photo, you know, the angle, that's what, the, the angle must have been taken in the B block here. Because, you know, she must have been here, taking the photo, oh no, right here, for the angle, to be correct. Like this angle, so she could not have taken this from this side. Not, yeah, she could not have done that. Maybe she could, no, she couldn't. It must be the angle, right? Okay, we're gonna save again, just to be sure, so we don't die. Look at our last life there, that's just sad. What have become of us, right? What have become of us? And there we go. Okay. Aim angle of, of view to the crime. Why? The angle at which she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Please be right. Uh, um, well... Security guard station on is on the second floor, and um, uh oh, she would have sort of a more three D view of the crime. And this is important. Why the photograph? Oh no, we were wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, we gotta do that again. Thank goodness that I saved. Uh, distance to the crime. I guess, because it would be weird with lightning. It changes this distance between her and the scene of the crime. Wait, uh, all right, the fence. Maybe they were thinking about the fence and not the, the angle of the photo. My, I'm not condemning this, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. <laughs> the distance between the, this, the scene of the crime and the girl is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what you could see. What she saw is not a quest in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Miss Star, you witnessed a crime from the security guard station. Not now, or oh, not <laughs> now. How long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky? Okay, there we go. They were thinking about the fence. Well, witness, you. Y yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Just kidding. <laughs> you ordered the squid wheels, right? The quality of my lunch has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> I was bringing a PB and J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to put to my boyfriend. Okay. Mmm, boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass wall station. 
Okay, so you're admitting this. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. I couldn't open it? Okay. So, okay, so you could go that way? But then you could have made it. You couldn't have run that quickly and climbed that freaking thing. That's why I had to go through the business parking in B block. That's quite a detour. You couldn't have possibly caught her. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five, five minutes? Wow, well, you're such a fan of her right now. It's better. Hmm, this changes things consider considerably. But it was the woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it, I have photographic evidence. No, we don't. I swear it, I swear it on my finest plastic spork. <laughs> spork. You have a point, and the spork is a wonderful invention. I like George. <laughs> He's so cute. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely! Oh, why wow, you're so easily, easily to bribe. Uh-oh. Mr. Vard, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Yeah. Should we go with the floor plans again? Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the rest? Think about it. You couldn't make pasta in that amount of time. True story. And if you like it all dente. I got lunch boxes that I passed into knots, rookie. Wow, that's cool, I guess. A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Hmm? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, uh, well, um, um, I guess I'll flee the scene. Ah, oh, don't, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, right, judge. We knew it was you. But you had the instinct of a killer. You would run, but this time was different. Miss Sky doll at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's conceivable. Yeah! Yeah, you were right. We're not gonna lose this life. Much better. Well then, it seems we come to the end of this testimony, finally. She has a grudge against the defendant and there is a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgy Boy, is the next witness ready to go? What? This still? Okay, oof. I'm like, this is gonna be a long episode. Unfortunately, I am here to have arrest overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it, we screwed that, we screwed that can shut. <laughs> Mr. Bat. That, that, that was too close. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, it was too close. I'm afraid that the cover up queen has been dethroned. Oh, sing! And with that, the court is adjourned. A second time. Second time that this. No, oh, don't do it. Who is it now? Of course, will you. Mr. Edgy Boy, you're the squid wheels, right? Oh, it's that over to you then. That's the one she tried to force off on me. I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. What? What are you talking about? I have deci decisive evidence. What? 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 What's that? Is this another one of her trick lunch boxes? Uh, yeah, it must be. My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Uh, some lunch boxes that. Oh, whoa! Is this your jumbo lunchbox? And the sparkling sound. <gasps> oh, 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 a triple decker. Okay, we have questions. Now. <laughs> Out of defendants to the witness determination. I love one more day. <laughs> wow, you're so hungry, aren't you? Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. What she's going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? Four lunchboxes. <laughs> oh, gosh. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now... Uh... What? That looks not like blood. To the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring this up? Why did you take his shoe, that's weird. Two types of blood were found in this shoe. How did you know that? One was, of course, that and the victims. And the other was... <gasps> did 
the defendant, Miss Miss Lana, like Sky's blood. But how do you know that? Because you're not a cop. You don't know. You couldn't be able to do the test and stuff. And if anyone in the police department department would tell you all of this information to a civilian, well, that freaking department would be you no. Know, they would find out, you know. Other cops who work at that freaking department because everyone will lose a job. Oh, wait, this is in this dimension. No, they don't allow anyone to be a freaking cop any, right now. Hmm. The shoe proves, uh, proves it. It's flawless. It's the evidence. What? What, what? what? There was blood found on that shoe. Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Oh my gosh. Witness must mean this. Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? It's really weird. Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Miss Edgy Boy. <laughs> That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. But, so you can do your contest blood in your own home or something? And you had blood just before? Thank you for asking that, Edgy Boy. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends and friends. Really? But then they all did wrong. It, and then it gives you I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law to store. <clears throat> Rule one. New evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police upon. Oh! Actually, oh wow, Edgy Boy is actually doing something really good this time. In other words, the shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Oh, yeah. Is that prime, so right? Yep. It seems so. Edgy Boy sure is celebrating. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Edgy Boy. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. But you're not anymore. As I mentioned previously. The shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensic department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgy Boy. <laughs> Oh, snake eyes time. No, that shouldn't be allowed. Seriously, that shouldn't be allowed. I is that right, Mr. Fright? It seems so. Edgy Boy is looking pretty solid. You could at least study some evidence a lot, really. Thank you. Finally, someone said it. Thank you, Emma. We love you. We love you. The prosecution complains notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the full rule of evidence, of evidence law. But, oh my god, they could so totally have made all of that up. Seriously. That could be, like, forged up. They could have forged it. So no, it shouldn't be allowed. That's why I don't think this thing should be allowed. Seriously. That's just... She is, she's clearly suspicious. Oh, I'm so freaking frustrated. Well... It seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. <laughs> You're right. Victim shoe added to the court record. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Oh, joy. Evil stare of... Well, we can understand each other now, Michelle boy. For now. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim shoe, did I not bring this up? No, you actually didn't. And you found the shoe at the scene of crime? You stole it. I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. Oh, gosh. So, like an in-train pooch, you snuck up with a shoe. Oh, Ryman! I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. Oh, like you did? <gasps> wow. The shoe was my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunch boxes, gentlemen. Wow. I thought that lunch, you know, that, you know, that basket was very, very, that bag was very tiny. Wow. It must be like Mary Poppins' bag. I'm happy for you and your lunch box. Lunch box bag, really? In any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of the crime, and that's illegal! Oh, okay, and that doesn't matter because you were a cop before, but uh, but you apparently because well, you were a cop before and you were you know the forced of the law, you know, of the police department. But yeah, you should still allowed to do whatever you want, even though you're not allowed to be a cop anymore. <laughs> ah, it's so annoying. Now tell us what you did next. 
I'm gonna pass here too. So, you brought it to the forensic department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensic expert. And she got away with her little coop because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have blood stains on it. It looks... it doesn't look like blood, it's kind of brown. It looks like soy sauce. Makes sense after all, a man was stabbed here. But shouldn't it have been more blood than that? And this doesn't really explain the blood, like, why they... Nobody but us know uh, knows about Lana's uh, stab wound, you know, on her hand. So why would there be blood on the shoe if they didn't know about that? And that blood belonged to the victim detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. I gotta press here too. You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the victim with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, Rookie. Huh? Well, speak up. Uh, well, blood comes in four types. A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was performed in cold blood. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get punished for this. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, if you combine all the various blood tests, there are millions of types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood sample down to one person. Or so I hear. M m m millions of types? Yeah, music. <laughs> if I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But he said there was very little doubt it could be anyone but Miss Lana Sky. Why would they say that? Is it just because you're dating them and they don't want to make you sad? Or what? what? Hmm. So the Sazbe blood was found. No, we don't know that yet because it's just said that the DNA test that uh, but it couldn't be anyone else. But it clearly could be as someone else. Oh my goodness. That test is directly to the Oh my gosh. All these people here. All these people. I was afraid I was going to say that. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. Ew, looks gross. Ew. You ordered peppered fish cuts, right? Ew. Someone like it hot, Mr. Wright. Someone like your client. She's not. She is in enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. Mr. Wright, do you or don't you have a problem with the show? I have a big problem. A problem? Big problem. Gotta change my position here. So my cash here. This is critical. What's wrong with the victim shoot? Well, gonna save again. Just be sure. Just like all the freaking time in this freaking episode. This is so freaking long this episode. And there's a problem. I'm not imagining things. If I'm not, I say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? And I don't want to eat fish cuts, thank you very much. Let's hear what Mr. Vi has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's show? Show us a problem with the evidence with this evidence. Uh -uh. Oh no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I did oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally did that. Oh man. Uh free. There's a problem. Skippity doo da skippity doo. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. I'm a silly billy 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 goose. Okay. Now, hero. Oh, look at this. That's kind of weird. We're gonna save here this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how. We, this is who we are right now. This is who we are. Uh, okay, we'll go. It's gonna be wrong. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, okay? Or it will be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> 
<laughs> hmm, indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense, to make the most stab with a knife. But in the chest. What could possibly could indeed be blood? Well... Due to the loss of blood... One knife wound... Maybe we'll do this then? Yeah, this is gonna be wrong, I bet. The problem lies in the footprints. The footprints? Not at the bottom of the victim's shoes covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see, there was there were no trace of any such footprints at the scene of crime. Okay, we're right. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. Oh, were we? This, this picture only shows part of the floor, so it could have been bloody footprints, but we didn't see anything when we were there. If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, wow. No, serious. Serious time. Order, order, order! Well, with this. What? Oh, I. Oh. Great going, Mr. Matt, but. Oh, no. Ugh, are we wrong again? It's true that lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Matt, think. Oh, we weren't maybe wrong. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm as good at finding contradictions. What? Oh, I don't like that look. I'm gonna look away. Ah. Hey, see? Now get it. You do? Get yeah, what? A witness is more devious than I gave it credible. We were hoodwinked to the very end. Oh, we're finally gonna talk about the murder happened elsewhere? But she slipped. There's one vital into the truth in the testimony. What, what, what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about her branding the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator this one. A leopard woman roar. Huh? What? I thought that was a strange thing for a normal cool headed chick to do. Huh? No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. <laughs> Is oil drum was it empty? It was empty. Oh, that, that, um, I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edger Boy. So apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. <laughs> witness, well, well, was oil drum empty? She said it was full. She's gonna be wrong. The oil drum kicked over the by the pre she prosecutor was bringing with water. What water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Bright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Oh. We understand what you're getting at. Aha! You don't mean. Y yes, this has been knocked over the oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To raise the blood stain, that would become evidence against her! Why? But she. She said that she did the murder. She said, La yeah, I did it, like, right straight away. So that would be weird why she would do that if she was even, go you know, if she was going to come out with it anyways. That ties things up quite nicely. The blood stains left on the victim's shoe tie her quite near clearly to this murder. Then, after the deed was done, she handed over the old drum to raise the telltale signs. Why, that's a prosecutor's special speciality. Raising evidence. <laughs> that reminds me, the sky right hand was hurt. Yeah, it was. Finally, we're gonna talk about that. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So, my sister blood on the suit, that's when it happened. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Wait, what? Mr. Bright, do something, please. What, what? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But, but... Enip! 
There is no need for further debate. The verdict, your honor. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. This court find the defendant is not a sky. What, really? Oh, wow, who? Who is it now? You this time? Little oh, girl, what did you just say? Uh oh. Ha, huh, me. Did you just say that I, in the store, was on the prosecution side? Well, well you are. You're saying my sister hid, hid evidence by erasing the, foot, the bloody footprints. Well. <sighs> I thought you had your fill, but, you he but here you are demanding a second helping. Here you go, and a lunchbox, a lunchbox called Evidence. Wait, 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 wait. Witness, don't tell me you have something else. Oh my goshness. You reached your verdict, your honor. Any further comments will be held in contempt of court. You can't decide that. Your friends are scared the cup of queen. Look at this. What? A photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gout to suggest. Oh my gosh. And the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. What? And that white shoe didn't belong to the victim. What? Mm, I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Mac, wait. Look at that asphalt in this photo. Yeah, this water. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. Oh, we still did it though. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Why though? I'm sorry, Mia. Hey, hey, again! Right, wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. You always do that. Get yourself off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. But we're at the bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. No! Objection. Finally. Thank you, goodness. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can I hand down my verdict in peace anymore? <laughs> Hang in there, Judge. Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late, silly Bill Gooses. Look at this photograph. The first photograph, the last one's made it. <clears throat> this trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with the latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I think later. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Right or wrong, I got to go ahead with this. Mm, mm. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem of the... Um, ow. This thing is kind of weird. Okay, just to be sure. Ju just to be sure. We gotta save again. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't look good, my buddies. Okay. I mean, the shoe is here. It should be. I know, and it kind of looks weird, though. It just fell off. Even the... It, 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 yeah, the shoe. Yeah, this is wrong. Well, it's probably here, don't you think? Yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. As you earlier, Mr. Wright, let me give you a piece of advice. When you point out something, at least remember to keep your eyes open. Oh, that hurts. I believe he's trying to say that no one's falling for your bluffs, Mr. Wright. What? Oh, we're allowed to do it again without you killing us? I suppose if we're going to swim, we should give Oh, oh, thank goodness. I thought they were going to mur <laughs> murder our last life there, uh, and I didn't read again. I'm so sorry. Um, I suppose since we've come this far, we should give it blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't know what they're trying to get at. Really. 
There's no, no blood on the shoe. It's completely clean. It's completely clean. There's no blood on it. I don't think that's not what I'm talking about, but it feels like they should be talking about that. Okay, I got. I guess I gotta go with the walkthrough. This video can't go on forever. Man. Okay. I get it now when I looked at the freaking walkthrough. Because I thought. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I thought about it, but I never said anything. But I thought maybe that was just. Oh, can I show you? Okay. Uh, in the. In the. Here, in this pipe thing. Uh, when we started, and when I we, when I searched on Google to see what muffler was, they talked about a car, and they also showed. When I searched for muffler clothing, they showed a scarf. And here, do you see that something comes out of uh, out of this? Well, I was thinking about, oh well, maybe that's just water that got into there, and maybe that's not a thing. But apparently, this is what we're gonna present. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, that was. I should have just gone on my gut and just pointed that out. I was like, ah, maybe there's water in there. Oh man, anyway. The problem in the photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Yeah, there we go. This apparently also called a muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edge Boy. You heard it? You just said muffler. Yeah. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. Explain. For the judge, please. A muffler is also a part of a car or motorcycle, your honor. Is think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe? <laughs> ah, I see, and ah, oh, I see. What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? <laughs> So, what if there is something singing out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Everything? Nothing, absolutely nothing. The car would have been useless if <laughs> there was something stuffed in there. Sorry, Miss Darby, it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony! But what? Let's see what Mr. Bright has on his mind. My gosh, this takes forever. Tell us, why do you think this piece of love in the muffler is related to this case? Oh gosh, now we're gonna go with this. Um. Mm, okay, let's go with that. Oh, it is right, Miss Star. Recall your testimony for the court. We found a phone on the ground, so. Yeah, maybe that was to protect the phone. We call this as money for the court. Ah, oh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The muffler. Arg. Yarg. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exot pipe? <laughs> if so. That means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. Finally! Sus suspended. I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. It will leave any question unanswered. Here, here we do a disservice to law. <laughs> yeah, now we're doing it. Not before, you know, we're shaving our face and murder. No, no. Now we're doing it. <laughs> Have the car at the crime scene is inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed. I suppose so. Whew. That was close. But we made it. At least for now. Thanks, me. I love you. The court will adjourn for a 30 minute. What? Only a. M oh my gosh. It's taking this a long time. It's lunch time after all. <laughs> You're always hungry. He's, he's still hungry. The judge. Wait, they said judge. He's still hungry. Not Phoenix. It's he's still hungry. Huh. To be continued. Oh, they're gonna do this. Okay, so let's break here. Oh, wow. I'm like, what? Okay, well that's gonna be it for today, my friends. This episode's gonna be long. I'm gonna cut it down, you know, with the parts when I'm like, 
confused and stuff, so maybe it'll be t a slight shorter than what it looks like right now. It looks like it's a two hours episode right now, but I'm gonna fix that. But thank you so much for watching, and wherever you are, whether it's day or night, I hope you have a great time, my friends. See you later, my buddies. Bye bye